Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Science Query. I am your host Dr. Asha and in this video I am going to talk about what are glycolipids. Glycolipids are the components of the cell membrane or we can say that glycolipids are the parts of cell membrane. Glycolipids are made up of carbohydrates and lipid. 5% of lipids in the cell membrane are glycolipid. Now let us see what are lipids. Lipids are made up of carbon, oxygen and hydrogen. The main function of lipid are to store energy and act as a component of cell membrane. According to structure, there are three types of lipid. Simple lipid, compound lipid and derived lipid. Glycolipid is a type of compound lipid. The structure of glycolipid is the combination of carbohydrates with simple lipid. It has nitrogen and no phosphoric acid. Glucose or galactose are attached to the lipid. When galactose is attached, it is called galactolipid. Now let us see the types of glycolipids. Glycolipids are mainly cerebrocytes and gangliosides. Let us see the functions and properties of cerebrocytes. Cerebrocytes are composed of fatty acids and galactose. These are found in large amount in the brain. Phosphoric acid groups are not present in these types of glycolipid. They are also known as galactolipid because of the galactose. They are also found in the myelin sheath of the nervous system. The primary function of cerebrocytes is to protect the nerve cells. Gangliocyte which is another type of glycolipid is found in ganglion cells of nervous tissues and brain. It is also found in RBCs and parenchymatous tissues like spleen tissues. It is composed of sialic acid which is a sugar and ceramide that is a fatty acid. The amount of sialic acid is very high in this type of glycolipid. The gangliocyte is the primary component of an animal cell membrane. The main function of gangliocyte is it acts as a receptor for bacterial protein toxins like cholera toxins and pituitary glycoprotein hormones. Now let us see the functions of glycolipids. Glycolipids helps in stabilizing the cell membrane by forming hydrogen bond with the surrounding water molecules. Other functions of glycolipids are the carbohydrate molecule of a glycolipid is attached to a neighboring carbohydrate molecule. This integration results in increased cell response and cell recognition. It also helps in the determination of the type of blood groups. Glycolipids are also present on the surface of red blood cells in the form of an antigen. They are attached to the leukocyte and produce an immune system. It also plays an important role in defense mechanism. These compound lipids participate in the formation of chloroplast membrane in the plant cell. It also plays a special role in the process of photosynthesis. Along with this, glycolipids also provide energy to the cells. Now let us test your knowledge. First question, glycolipids are made up of which of the following? A. Protein and lipid B. Carbohydrates and lipids C. Proteins and carbohydrates D. Lipids and nucleic acids Well, the correct answer for this question is B. Glycolipids are made up of carbohydrates and lipids. Now the next question. Glycolipids can be used for which of the following? A. Cell recognition B. Connecting cells to form tissues C. Energy D. All of the above well, the correct answer for this question is D, all of the above. Glycolipids can be used for all of the above, that is cell recognition, connecting cells to form tissues and energy formation or energy storage. Now the next question. Ganglion cells are found in A, nervous tissue, B, brain, C, RBCs and D, all of the above. The answer for this question is D. Ganglion cells are found in all of the above. That is, they are found in nervous tissues, brains and RBCs. Now the next question, glycolipids are. 
A. Simple lipid B. Compound lipid C. Lipid derivative or D. None of the above The correct answer for this question is glycolipids are a type of lipid derivatives. Well, that is all about glycolipids. If you like my video, then please subscribe my channel Science Query and please like, share and comment. Thank you.